I was uh, walking my dog Bunter this morning, he's a golden head deceiver, uh, when a near neighbour who happens to be a doctor uh, sidled up alongside me at a distance of just over two metres and excitedly inquired if I would be taking up the government's kind offer of a Covid jab. Well, I told him that despite my uh, positively ancient age of 57, uh, coupled with a generally unhealthy lifestyle, I was still in possession of a perfectly good immune system and would therefore have to forego the government's benevolent generosity. Well, he looked at me as though I was mad before uh, legging it into the misty distance where he and his dog were safe from Weston, the walking biohazard. Now, when scientists and doctors lose all sense of scientific and medical perspective, and indeed of reason itself, uh, you know the country is in trouble, and poor old Britain is certainly in trouble, because reality now takes a very distant second place to propagandised hysteria. Uh, so I thought I would weigh in with my personal take on vaccines in general, the Covid vaccine, and most importantly, uh, the astonishingly efficient human immune system, about which so little is said it might just as well not exist in the new world order of uh, viruses, vaccines, and yet more vaccines. You know, our immune systems are wonderful things, but when was the last time you heard anything said about them on the uh, Covid porn fear channels uh, masquerading as national news outlets? You know, in fact, our immune systems are so good uh, that the recovery rate from a Covid infection amongst those uh, aged under 70 is 99.97%. And that figure includes people with existing life-threatening illnesses. And if you remove them from the equation, the statistically relevant recovery rate is 100%, uh, which is rather different uh, to the bubonic plague and doesn't really suggest a pandemic of any kind at all. And even terming it a recovery rate is a bit of a misnomer because for most people testing positive uh, for COVID-19, there's nothing to actually recover from. You know, the vast majority are so unaffected that they are completely unaware they have it until a PCR test tells them that they have. Uh, yet despite being afflicted by what we are told is a killer disease, these people are perfectly healthy. And the reason they're perfectly healthy is because they have a run-of-the-mill, ten-a-penny, completely normal immune system, uh, which despite being totally bog-standard, is stupendously good at not just keeping us alive, but keeping us alive and healthy. Now, Here's an interesting fact. In any given one cubic metre of air, there are tens of millions of viruses buzzing around. And uh, not a single one of them has the faintest idea about the two metre distancing rule. Yeah, so we live in a, a, like a viral soup. And the only reason we don't keel over and die in our millions uh, is not because of masks on our uh, muzzles or yellow stickers on the supermarket floor. Uh, but because of our immune systems, no more and no less. Uh, in the H.G. Wells novel, The War of the Worlds, uh, Earth was invaded by Martians in gigantic fighting machines that easily overpowered our military, so it looked like curtains for the human race. But when the Martians opened the canopies on their fighting machines, uh, tens of millions of the lethal, lethal little viruses per cubic metre uh, swooped down uh, and around them and killed them all. You know, the Martians didn't have immune systems developed over thousands of millions of earthbound years, uh, which enabled early life forms on Earth, or more accurately, uh, the oceans, uh, to survive in the uh, virus filled primordial ooze as they slowly mutated and changed before finally evolving into Justin Bieber, who stands as a proud testament to the incredible power of the human immune system, whether we like it or not. And the vaccines currently on the market don't provide anywhere near the same level of protection from death as our immune systems do. Nowhere near. A single vaccine jab can only provide a 
60% chance of reducing the effects of a COVID infection and a double jab somewhere close to 95%. And as of January 2021, the manufacturers of the vaccines are unable to tell us if the vaccine actually prevents transmission of the COVID infection to other people. And this lack of knowledge as to what the vaccine does or doesn't do is because they've been rushed out and are basically uh, being trialled on the mass population as I speak, which makes no sense at all, considering our immune systems for the healthy under 70 year olds provide us with a 99.97 protection rate. Now, having said that, the vaccination certainly helped the situation for some, if not others, uh, which I will discuss in my next video. Thank you.